Alright everybody, welcome back to Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And this week we are doing our Jefferson's Ocean Special. Yes. Specifically the Jefferson's Ocean Rye, which just came out in the US slash possibly overseas. I don't mm-hmm. really know. But I know it's out in the US because we have it right here. So, yes. uh, Jefferson's is one of my personal favorite distilleries slash blenders because actually I found out that only 20 28% of Jefferson's product is actually is distilled. Is distilled. The wow. other 72% is MGP. Okay, there you go. So once again, MGP is the go-to brand for some of these big names. They're everywhere. They really are. You guys can't avoid them as much as you guys think you're avoiding them and try to avoid them. It just, you can't. And we like that. it, It just goes to show that MGP makes a solid product. And if you might notice, the set might have changed just a little bit. Yes. So for the next couple weeks, next couple episodes you watch, uh, we're going to be going from Mike's house, a little further north. I have been booted out of my own house, (laughs) but for a good purpose. Yes. So my fiance has finals this week, and I'm staying out of her way. Yes. Best thing to do. (laughs) Best thing to do. So without saying anything more or anything stupid, let's get into it. So first, we are going to jump into the regular oceans, which is the Voyage 20. Yes. So that's this guy right here. Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 20. Uh, most of you guys should know this and have seen this. It's very popular, the Jefferson's lineup. Um, Considered a core cool item for the brand. Is. Yeah, because they release one what, every year? Uh, no, it's like, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know how many they release a year. I would like to say they release four different batches a year. Yeah. And uh, they'll, label the neck, they said they'll label each necker or each neck with what voyage it is. Um, yep, it'll be right there on the very front. I'll zoom in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Real easy. What? Yeah, Sam's mom and Sam's. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just the regular old ocean. Yeah, and so. like definitely one of my favorite, my, one of my personal favorite bourbons. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's a steeper price tag between seventy and eighty bucks, depending on where you get it. So like yes. that's kind of a deterrent for some people, but for me, like, you know, you buy a bottle this a year, you're good. Yeah, and you know what? It it's got a reasonable price because yeah. it has to. They they literally have to put it on ships. It goes around the world mm-hmm. on a voyage. And we've explained this before. What that does is the motion of the ocean. It just creates the. It lets the barrels constantly move, keeping the liquid inside, hitting all sides of the barrel for maximum wood contact, and it really just changes the flavors rather it's than it just genius sitting in a rick. And every um, single one of your bottles will be labeled OV whatever batch or whatever voyage it is. So this is OV twenty. Um, good cherry wood nose. Nothing too crazy. On the cherry wood. It's good as always. Like it's just a solid standard bourbon. It is. You get a little like salty and sweet. Mm-hmm. You definitely do get some of that like sea influence from the boat, from the yeah, travel. The sea air, yep. If Which it, I like. Yeah, most of the and I say most of the your voyages are going to go around the equator twice and hit six out of seven continents. They do not go to Antarctica for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't think we have to go into why they don't go to yeah. Antarctica. <laughs> we don't need to lose all this at sea from an iceberg, and we don't need anything to freeze. However, with the regular uh, Jefferson's Ocean bourbon, if there is a significant weather event during the trip, they mm-hmm. change the color of the necker. Yes, they do. Um, I don't think we have anything, an example of that, but they change that. They'll, they actually, I think they put it in the little report. Too. Yeah, they'll they'll say exactly um, where, when, what happened, but normally it's a like a brown tan necker. Mm-hmm. It's just been the standard trip. Yep. Um, and then they change it, to, you know, this like purplish blue, for I think this hit a hurricane, Voyage Twenty. Yeah, I believe so. We don't have the the booklet with us on this. Is, we've had this bottle. So. I lost it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. What, <laughs> it's I don't know been what through a lot. Right. Um, but. It's kind of cool. I mean, I like that because it makes them a little more unique to the voyage. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll it, definitely be different, that's it, for sure. It attaches a story to the bottle. It kind of, mm-hmm. you know, it makes you identify with the bottle. It makes you feel like you've, I don't know, it's, it's more of a personal thing to yeah. me. Um, and even like Voyage 24, is not, it, that one's orange and blue because they actually lost the fucking boat. <laughs> I don't know how you lose a boat, but they lost the boat in the Caribbean, <laughs> so it's orange and blue for the Caribbean. That makes sense. And it never left the Caribbean. It doesn't make sense that they lost the boat, but it makes sense why they chose the colors. That's I'm really the funny. captain now. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, this one, I'm going to go, I don't know. Uh, I, I do. I, I would go 7.5 out of 10. 7.5? Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty decent one. I think I'll hit the same. 7.5 it's out of 10. crazy. And as per usual, Mike's going to put the numbers somewhere in this Over area here. up front. 
All right. So, next we got something kind of cool, something different they did. Yes. Jefferson started releasing their ryes. They used to have an old Jefferson rye, which was your standard rye, which is an MGP rye. There was nothing too crazy mm -hmm. about it. This is a cognac finished rye. Same price point as your ocean stuff, yep. So uh, and also now part of the core, even though it has the fancy dancy round top. I love that top. Which is usually held for all of their one-off releases. Yes. Yeah, that's a good way to, in, you know, for people who Corn. are either new or don't know too much that anything with that top on it, it kind of looks like the top of a stamp head. Um, those are usually indicative of a special release. Or a one-time one release. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something cool. So if you ever see those bottles laying around, check those out. You never know what you might be able to find because a lot of stores have a lot of crazy yeah. stuff laying around. You see your old rum reserves from them, your Pritchard yeah. Hill, Groth, which you can get your hands on. They don't make, it, they don't make the Groths anymore. Mm -hmm. Chef's Collection and your Grand Selections. Oh, I so like the nose on it. It does smell like MGP more. rye, though. It does. It's bright. It's citrusy. You get a little black licorice or dill pickle. It, mm -hmm. It's it's indicative with MGP. Yeah. It's much sweeter, smell. though, because of the cognac. You think I might get pick it up? <laughs> a lot sweeter. On, on I think the it nose. bumps up that citrus note. Mm hmm. Oh, oh so wow. good. Wow. It's, su it's such a like sweet, clean, easy drinking rye. Now, this is unique because I don't like brandy or cognac, like, at all. No, it gives me, like, I get... I really don't. I get really bad headaches when I drink it, and I just, mm -hmm. I, I get nauseous, like, smelling it. I, yeah, I don't know what it, it is. It's sweeter. I, I just, there's something about it I don't like, but when you age something in the casks, to me, it just, I guess it just pairs well with that robust bourbon yeah. note. The Agreed. sweetness helps tame that down, and it intermingles, and it creates this... Whatever this the only is, thing this I, is I don't, the only thing I, the only not negative I'll say about this one mm -hmm. is obviously again it's a seventy eighty dollar price point. It's a little higher, so for rye, I feel like it's harder to pull the trigger on that because rye is already a product that's harder to pull the trigger on. Yeah, but also like I, I do like that white pepper or like fresh black cracked pepper note, which mm -hmm. this doesn't have for me. Like I did buy this yeah. bottle. Yes, this one. Yeah, I remember I, you bought that. Yeah, one. I did buy this bottle and I do like it a lot. I don't drink it a lot, as you can see. But I think it it does take a little away. Yeah, from it does the because rye experience. your typical rye notes get a little covered up by that cognac cast yeah, it's finishing. Yeah, a, a little overbearing. Um, but it does come together very well. Oh yeah, it's very I like cohesive. it because it makes it for a very unique profiled rye. Not your, it's not very typical or standard in any which way. And that sweetness, I think it would be welcoming. I think this is good for new to rye people. I, I it honestly think... It helps you think get into it. What, yeah, I agree with you on that, that it's a it's good sweeter. It, it's a good gateway to rye. I, I think once you try the next one, you're going to yeah. take that back. Okay. Because I, I, I do truly... I've already had the other one. Obviously, you can see this. I'm missing. <laughs> um, this is awesome because it's sweet. It's it's very balanced. Uh, but for like someone who likes rye, like myself, it... it it's missing something. Yeah, it's missing a key component. And I think most hardcore rye drinkers will not really... Not that they won't like it, but it won't be their... First choice. Their first, yeah, because yeah. it's missing those true-to-style characteristics. So what are you going for that? Um, I'm actually going with an 8. I like it. See, and I'm going to go... I'm going to go like a 6.7. Oh, wow. So, I, I yeah, I'm not like the so like biggest... 7.2? Yeah, let's go 7.4. 7.4? 7.4. Okay. Um, seven four. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, think I went high. I don't know. There's yeah. something about it I like. I I like you like the sweetness. I think I do. And as much as I preach on this channel, like how I love my bourbons to be very bold and oaky and smoked, sometimes that little bit of sweet sweetness goes a long way. Like like the Balmeray, like the candy. Yeah, those candy I, bourbons. I, gotcha. I like them a little bit. Just it changes little things up. Sugar. <laughs> Especially this, well, not this time of year. It's getting warm out now, but like in this, in the winter, I really like those sweet notes a lot. Yeah, like I guess I go back and forth. Like I, I could do without it. It's, I don't know. I'm just like I'm a, I'm a very big like mood drinker, so mm -hmm. I, I could, I, I could, I, you can take it or you can leave it with me. Like mm -hmm. I, it just depends on how I feel. Like I, I, like that Balmeray is nice because it's it's got that sweetness, but it also has the body it does it's got back a it big up. body back where this up. to me is like a little li too light it's more sweet it's a little yeah, yeah it just kind of crossed that threshold but let's go on to the thing that most likely you people clicked on our video to watch yes. jefferson's oceans rye so this is new yes this is brand this new. Is new they never have done a rye ocean series so no they have really not cool. and they wouldn't dedicate the expense it makes to make these bottles without this i honestly think 
they wouldn't do this without making sure that the product inside that bottle is going to hold up to what people know and think of the ocean's products. Yeah. So it it's definitely like a, a bold move creating a new core item that's just mainly a rye mm-hmm. with like obviously there's no cast finishing really it's just sitting in a boat yeah so this so the rise are going to be new for the ocean it's going to be yeah. part of the core no this that's will be cool. like as long as it does well it'll it'll stick around so that's really cool i tried this for the first time uh last wednesday and i've had like uh, i had bobby over the house he's our friend bobby he's a big mm-hmm. whiskey guy he tried the rye and he's not a big rye drinker and he's not a big jefferson he liked it he's not a big jefferson's ocean person either okay uh, and he loved it. He loved the rye. He, he said it was a really nice laid back rye. Uh, Mike, you have not had it. No, you have, I have you not. Have, is that, is is that the way to say it? You have not had it? I, you have not. You haven't had it. I haven't had it. You haven't had it, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. There is a lot in this. To, oh yeah, my yeah. God, it goes on. Yeah, there's a, like, I, all I'm going to say is instead of, like, yeah. instead of just reading what this Necker says, it'll take us Go forever. out and <laughs> buy a bottle of rye. Or go out and pick up a bottle of rye and read the Necker and see <laughs> if it interests you. Off. Or just take the Necker off. Do whatever you want to do, but read the Necker. It's actually really cool. Mm-hmm. In, in a summary of what that says, it, basically what it is is like it crossed the equator twice, went to six out of seven continents. Mm-hmm. There was easy sailing through the Panama Canal, yep. easy seas through New Zealand, easy seas through Singapore and southern China, and then back around to Savannah, Georgia, where they sail out of every time. So overall, yep. it, was, it was a La Nina year this year, so the weather was very tame and it was yeah. a nice mellow trip yeah whatever that, that mean, means to you is what it means to you yeah <laughs> so cheers jefferson's ocean Ooh. rock it's got a much I, I it's it's a sweeter nose than this it is not very dill pickle even though it is mgp yeah but it's good. It does have a sweet. I I, I, w- I should I should text our friend and see if this is all MGP or if it's like they it's really blended. did like twenty eight percent of it was their stuff. I it's definitely blended. It's obviously yeah. it's obviously blended, but you know. But either way, it's a it, good product's a good product. I really don't give two shits if it's MGP or not. Mm-mm. Ooh, that pepper notes back, and I like that. Yep, it's white pepper though. Yeah, it's white pepper. And anybody, there's a distinct difference between black pepper and white pepper. Black pepper almost comes off as spicy, where white pepper is like this, like it's like a, more of a zing. Yeah. To it, it's, mm-hmm. and it's more mellow. It's lighter. I liked it. Wow. It's re- this is oh, a wow to me. Like I was not gonna like oversell it to you before you drank it, but to me this is a phenomenal bottle. Mm-hmm. Especially like this is an eighty dollar rye, seventy to eighty dollar rye. I it's there's so much pepper on this, but in a good way. Uh-huh. Ooh, I really okay. Hold on, I'm actually. And you're a pepper guy though, because you're like I a big. A you, you say you love Asian cuisine, which like yep. that's heavy pepper everything. I love Asian cuisine. I love Mexican cuisine. Spicy. Yeah. Like I'm all about. And peppers. I love like you know I that's a, I'm, I'm big on this rye. I, I this think is... I think they did something really cool and really different here, even though it's technically what they've always done. They just changed the they changed the mash bill. Yeah. Um, wow. but this like. This validates the price tag, mm-hmm. and I feel I don't know if it's just my if it's just my head getting to me, but like on the first taste, in addition to that pepper, I feel like you get a little bit of brininess. Yeah, you do get a little a salt. Little brine. Yeah, it's salt. a little salt so up front. It's like a salt and pepper rye, and I, I'm like, I know it's like the stereotypical white people seasoning, but like. Something to be said about salt and pepper. It, it is a good combination. <laughs> it, it, it it's it's a classic. It does go well. With a little bit of garlic, but never mind. Yeah, definitely had garlic. But I digress. Um, no, it, I it's, it's salty up front, then a little sweetness that you kind of still get that reminiscent cherry note from the mm-hmm. bourbon that's still lingering there, and then it's all pepper for me after that. Yeah, I this this one's good. Yeah, it, it's it's a cool palate. It's a different palate for a rye. That I, that I said, like I've said it three times. I really enjoy it. I do too. I don't know how else to say it, but I really enjoy it. I enjoy it so much. I'm going as high as an eight five on this Wait, one. You done fucked up, eh, Aaron? Oh yeah, I did do that. Oops. Um, key and peel for anybody. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going as high as an eight five on this. I like this a lot. I, I'm going eight nine, so we'll still call it an eight seven. Eight seven. Which is, I think, that's one of the highest ratings we've had. I think it is. Um, wow. I like that rye a lot. So uh, all we're going to say is Jefferson's. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Phenomenal so. product. And I know Jefferson's is very well known 
I very well. A yeah, lot of people love Jefferson. Yeah, it's not a hidden secret. I think it's overlooked. Yeah. For sure. I think I think Jefferson gets overlooked for their ingenuity, uh, even though people will always say like all your your old school bourbon junkie kind of people, depending, you know. They'll say, like, oh, it's blended, it's MGP, mm-hmm. it's not, you know, they're not making their own stuff. I, who fucking cares? Yeah. Like, seriously, like, if it, what if what's in the bottle is a good product... That's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you like it, then... Yeah. Just, I, I don't see the argument. Just as much skill goes into blending as it does straight up distilling your own as well. You yeah. Know, I'll never be a hater on that. It's... It's not easy to blend. You need to know what you're doing. You need to know what will go good with what and how to do it. How much? How what percentages of everything you should be using? Like I will say, the grand selection in the Sauternes cast was a bit of a bust for me. Yeah. But when you're when you do go out as outside the box as these guys do, you're gonna miss sometimes. Yeah. Uh, even though, like I said, I think the cognac finish was a bit of a miss, even though it does taste very good. Yeah. So with all that being said, I love Jeffersons. I do too. They're a solid, reliable bottle. So, everybody, even though we put it, I think, probably three times throughout the episode, (laughs) please like, subscribe, and comment to this video, to all of our videos. It's very much appreciated. We Mm -hmm. love the conversation. We like the back and forth. Also, drink safely, drive safely. Please don't drink and drive. Please don't drink and drive. (laughs) I mean that seriously. Uh, So, have a great night. Cheers. Cheers.